what is up guys moto hk here with a back to basics moto vlog i'm calling this series back to basics because i won't put too much editing not too fancy topic and just basic vanilla moto stuff as usual i have been too busy with work with non-moto hobbies which i don't vlog and also doing some suzuki jimny videos that i thought of at least sharing with you guys this moto related purchase which some of you might be interested in this is the HJC i20 helmet. I've been eyeing this helmet for the longest time, but it has always been out of stock. Uh, but recently became available again this month of February, and when the recent Shopee 2.2 slash 1000 pesos off the price, I went ahead and got it. Here's what's inside the box, helmet bag, foam, nothing fancy, although it does come with both a smoked and clear visor, which I appreciate from HJC. I'm going on an international trip soon and I'm thinking of taking this helmet with me but obviously we gotta test it first. So here's my first impressions for the HJC i20. What is up guys? Now here testing out the HJC i20, running it through traffic. Uh, given that I'm planning to use this helmet for my Komote, Komote travels. <laughs> just kidding. Sometimes you just want a helmet that you can grab and go. You're just going from one place to another, no fuzz, uh, pretty near place. And you want a helmet that you can easily uh, pick up and go. Uh, and um, you want it light, you want it no fuzz, you want it simple. And this is basically the reason why I got the HJC i20. Planning it for using it on scooter rides, you know, errand rides to going from one place to another. So far, I am liking it. The helmet is pretty light and comfortable. Um, also, uh, the visor is pretty easy to put up and put down. Just an off topic, I'm really, really liking these uh, Imprint Customs uh, jerseys. They are very cool. Um, very light, feels like you're wearing nothing, but they also you know, protect you from the sun. So, uh, good job on that. Uh, Imprint, Imprint Customs, proudly Philippine made. I am not sponsored, I am just liking your product. Jesus, look at all this fucking shit on the road in Manila, man. Oh, fuck. Almost beat the red light right there, especially when there's a traffic enforcer over there waiting. Gotta be careful on the streets, man. So you've been hearing me praise the helmet. I'm liking it so far. I think it's also very stylish uh, and fancy. Uh, just, I like the HJC style. But what about the negatives of this helmet? Um, well, what I noticed is that uh, it's actually pretty noisy. Um, I can actually hear the air um, when I'm actually up to speed. And I'm not sure if the mic is picking it up, but uh, whenever you're up to speed, um, it's actually pretty airy. And the microphone might actually reflect it um, because I'm just using my phone to record. Um, I've got a lavalier mic uh, in my helmet right now. And I'm not really sure how good the sound will be because I think it's noisy. So if you're a motor vlogger and you are, you know, eyeing this helmet for motor vlogging, uh, you might want to check um, how my audio sounds right now, if it's okay with you. Um, if it's too noisy and you can't hear you know, you talking, then you might need to find like another solution to improve your audio. Uh, yeah, it's sort of pretty hard to talk a little bit when you're dodging all these cars and uh, doing some sketchy moves. Sketchy seeing it, seeing it moves, man. Holy shit, look at this. That crazy car. Hey guys, um, right now I'm using the smoked visor. It actually comes with a clear visor. Let's see how this uh, perf smoked visor performs in the tunnel. Oh, yeah, not too bad. I think it should be okay. Uh, this tunnel has some light, so that might actually help. Uh, but uh, it's a little bit dark, uh, as it should be. Uh, but overall, not too bad. I actually like how the visor uh, gets hidden inside the helmet, so it makes the helmet look really compact. Typically helmets with the visor hidden inside the helmet are actually heavy because of the mechanism, but uh, this helmet feels pretty light, um, I guess it's because the, the chin bar also is removable and it's pretty light. So another thing that uh, I 
kind of don't like this helmet, but it's part of the design is that the chin bar, okay, or this one, because it's removable, it's not actually meant as a crash guard. So if you crash, the chin bar will not really protect you. Uh, so just be aware of that. This helmet, you just treat it as the half helmet. Uh, it's not a full face helmet. Uh, you just have this chin guard here more to protect yourself from the dust or maybe from the bugs that are flying to your face. But you cannot expect any protection from this chin guard. Aside from the awesome style, the HJCI 20's signature feature is the removable chin bar, which converts the full face configuration into an open face helmet. Take note that the chin bar is not rated for any impact protection, so the HJCI 20 really is just an open face helmet in terms of safety. However, the chin bar does give a bit of wind and bug protection if you have it attached. Obviously, we're gonna try this out, and I will share with you how the open face configuration feels. Take note that all audio in this video while I'm writing is all raw and I did not do any noise reduction or post-processing on the audio to give you guys a better idea of the noise as well as other moto vloggers out there an idea of what this helmet sounds like when vlogging. I'm using a Rode uh, lavalier microphone uh, attached to my smartphone when recording the audio uh, and just inserting it uh, during editing. Let's see how it is. Alright guys, just for a change of pace, I'm using the helmet now without the chin bar traveling here uh, and I should, probably should put the visor down. So I am not actually used to using a helmet without a chin bar. This is the first time that I've used a helmet without a chin bar. I'm pretty sure um, given the microphone situation, you are probably hearing a lot of noise. Uh, I'm not even... Oh, jeez, that's noisy. I'm not even sure if you can actually hear me speaking. Um, hopefully you can, and the microphone registers it. Let me just check. All right, microphone is still there. All right, guys. So how does it sound? Um, so far, you know, um, using a, this, using this open face configuration, it is comfortable, but uh, I just don't feel like it. Uh, I, I'm used to having uh, something covering my face uh, and it, yes, it is co cooler because you got more air going to your face but I'd rather have that chin bar back. Um, it's uh, a little bit disconcerting using it like this. Um, I think that maybe the other thing is that, you know, other half-face helmets they have a visor that actually covers their whole face, while this one it just covers their eyes a bit. So that also contributes to uh, some of the discomfort maybe using this. I mean, I don't mind. Maybe if you're just moving like a slow pace uh, or not not so spirited pace in terms of speed, it's probably good. But uh, <laughs> okay, it's getting windy now. Given that I have some uh, room to breathe here. But still, guys, um, I, w yeah, I, I prefer this with the chin bar on. Uh, it is nice to have that option in case you want to use this for other purposes, like you know, you have an electric scooter um, and you don't, you know, you don't, you want a safer helmet than just a bicycle helmet. You can definitely use this. Uh, or if you are just riding around town or have a short destination and you're not planning on going through the highways. Uh, it's probably okay having this in this configuration. So guys, uh, how does it look? Uh, I think it looks okay. Not too bad, right? In the half-face configuration. Uh, I like the full-face configuration though, because it looks, looks pretty badass. You look like a fighter pilot in terms of your helmet. <laughs> so I think I am actually gonna stop in a gas station and uh, I am gonna put the chin bar back on because I I'm not feeling this situation right here. <laughs> uh, to each his own, guys. Just sharing it, sharing my experience with you. All right. So that is the HJC i20. Overall, I like this helmet a lot. 
It's not too expensive, I like the style, it is pretty light, and it will serve my needs. What do you guys think? If you have any questions about the i20, leave a comment and I'll try to answer it as soon as I can. And wherever you are guys, ride safe everyone.